Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jack and uh, today I've got a little Twixter syncing tutorial for you. I know uh, there are thousands and thousands of these I'm sure, but I, I think I do it differently and more efficiently than most people so I figured I'd share it because I've been watching uh, I've been watching some videos lately and the editing is really bugging me and one thing that really bugs me is all the shots. Um, so I figured I could just show you that one little bit, but I I really just have to show you everything. So um, yeah, here we go. Let's just get right into it. So I've got my uh, my song down here by Noise by Noise Storm uh, because we are partnered with them or whatever. We have copyright use or something. So I've got it down here. I'm gonna change my comp real quick so that it is uh. We'll make it like uh, 10 seconds long. It doesn't need to be this long. Uh, if you can't see this, it's because it's on my other screen, and I really don't know what to tell you. So let's just preview this real quick. I should probably have headphones in. I'm sorry about that. Here, actually, I can do that real quick because I don't want you guys to have some echo. Hold on. Um, let me go to where the beat starts coming in. So. That's not good enough. We want boom, not just boom, boom. How about there? Perfect. So we'll go. We'll go on the snares. Uh, I've got a nice little clip, free for all quad feed that I hit uh, last night, maybe. So I'm gonna throw that in here, and delete. That is not what we do. This is how I do it, which is similar to Baker. Uh, Baker's tutorial is great but I think mine is a little better. Normally I would have you uh, increase hold click on the corner hold shift and drag it out a little bit to get rid of the black bar but uh, I already rendered this clip out once so I could put it in the drop Dropbox for the Team Taj so that is unnecessary but we'll leave it anyway like it doesn't really make much of a difference and this is where things start getting different so I'm gonna come over here I have a user preset for Twixter 59.94 frames per second which is uh, what all your clips should be but we'll we'll go ahead and do it manually. I'm gonna go effect, and this is all in the pre comp. Remember that. I'm gonna go effect. Whoops. Give me that. Click on the layer effect. Uh, see, I never do this. I forget. Twixter, and then change this to 59.94, not 95, 94, and then that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna leave it. And lots of people. Uh, I noticed that everyone, I feel like everyone uses uh, artificial gunshots, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like having the background noise of the shots and the running around and the Ugh! and stuff like that from the clips. I like to leave that in, but uh, for the community's sake, I will import my own shots real quick, which I got from several editing packs. I'll go into Aspros right here, uh, Primary, Sniper. And this is the Barrett, I believe. Barrett 50 cal. So, uh, toss that down here. Um, tap L twice, and let's just line up the shots. So, it looks like something like that. Let me make sure. Shot right there. You can see the bullet. So, yeah, that looks perfect. So, duplicate this three times. Just line it up like that. Doesn't have to be too perfect. We'll. Actually, it kind of does, but NBD. Um, so yeah, and then we'll turn off the audio on our main clip. And this is all in the pre-composition, -com remember that. Uh, that is how I do things differently. So then we're going to come into here, have our, audio, have our waveform open, grab your pre-composition, and bring it down right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And so now what we're going to do is, uh, let's see, let's just play through this real quick. Alright, so we've got one here, there probably. Okay, so first uh, I'm going to go up and split my clip at every shot. So um, I'm scrubbing through the frames with page up, page down. Baker didn't do that, it was kind of bugging me. He clicked on the next frame up here, but it's way easier if you've... Just use page up and page down. So there's our first shot. I'm going to go one frame up, control shift D, split it. Except for this gave me a pen. Apparently that lets me draw boxes. I don't know what the fuck this is. 
control shift control shift D I think that might be draw for uh, Camtasia which I'm using to record so that kinda sucks <laughs> what the fuck how the hell am I gonna split this clip layer how the hell am I gonna do this hold on add marker Wow, okay, hold on, guys. This is retarded. Edit, split layer. I guess I'm gonna, just going to have to do this by, na by hand. So uh, we'll drag this. Um, you could shift drag or you can hit end bracket. And then this begin bracket. Our next shot is... So it's boom. So uh, we'll go. We'll go right there. This is where our next shot should be, but that doesn't matter yet because so scrub through what a bad shot I am look at that somehow I get a kill that was this clip is insanely lucky it's so sick I was fucking pumped okay I f god damn it I forgot that I have to split it manually edit split layer um then line that up right there begin bracket and let's go find our next shot just barely passed it there there it is uh, God, I keep wanting to control shift D split layer again, and uh, let's listen. All right, and it's all the way back here. So begin bracket, and then go to the last shot, which is a dirty turn on. This uh, this will be a preview for my my Taj coming out. It's gonna be pretty gnarly. Not even gonna lie. Uh, see, if you can't see the bullet, you can just look at the bullets down here. And uh, so we'll s cut it right there. Edit, split layer, and let me. Okay, that one's a little more tricky. I think it's right there. So um, now let's get into the sinking. So we've got this, then the next shot has to come there, so let's pick what part we want to twixter. So this is the way I do it. It's it's a little more messy, but personally I prefer to do it this way. So we can choose what part we want to slow down. We can slow down uh the unscoping. We can slow down I think I'll unslow down uh just the like between the shots, sorry. I'm burping a lot. It's like four in the morning. I don't know why. Um, so we'll split it. Then we'll uh, so have him dying. That will look cool in slow mo. Uh, split it again where we want that to end. Then drag this over there. Shift drag so it lines up. And then this is how I do it. You right click, time, time stretch. And the thing about this is when you time stretch it, it will lower the it will put the audio in slow-mo as well, which I find super annoying. I just did 250. We we can look and see that that goes a little past, so it's going to jump a little. So it's a little more tedious this way because you gotta you got to mess around with the time stretching. I'll do 230. Um, let's scrub through that, see if there's any blank spots. And no, see, that's perfect. It's a little bit tedious, and but I really like it that way. And so if you listen here, see the bullet goes slow-mo instead of just pew, 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 over and over again, which really, really bugs me. So I don't know if you guys have ever noticed that in my edits, but uh, so it looks like this one goes perfect to the next one. Let me, oh, see, that one's late, actually. So click, begin bracket. And to play this audio, by the way, I'm just uh, hitting FN period or uh, on the numpad, it's your period, which uh, plays the audio, which is so helpful. Because really, um, lining, listening to the audio, like you don't have to render anything. It's instant, and it just tells you what's going on. See, that one's, that one's late. I don't know why that is so late, but... Let's just bring it forward a touch like that and then listen. That sounds lovely. So um, that actually doesn't even look like we need to change anything. It does overlap, but I mean, look at the jump. Like, who cares? No one cares. 
so now we got a big pause. So um, I'll cut it right here. Not duplicate, split. And how slow can we go? Let's go there. Split again. We'll drag this over here. And so this, now we're going to go some, we're going to get some real slow mo going right here. Uh, time, time stretch. I'm thinking maybe 375. No, a little more. I'm going 410. Let's try that. So it's a lot of guesstimation, a lot of eyeballing it. 410 was not enough. I don't know if you guys can see this window. It pops up. My screen is cracked, so it pops up over here on my laptop screen. I'm looking on a on an external monitor right now. Um, let's go 450. That'll probably be too much, but let's see. Oh, not even enough. Wow. So we do have some blank area there, so we got to keep going. Maybe 475. Let's see. Is there a blank frame? Nope. Looks perfect. All right. So that's going to be nice and slow. Lovely. And then last shot is right. So that one was a little late, so we'll bring that forward a little bit. Lovely. All right. And on something like this with the with the base, I think I'm going to have it skip. So uh we'll do just this entire part slow mo, I think. So this is really fun to do and it's actually so much easier when you do stuff like this. So all I'm going to do is cut it again, time stretch. I'll go what 300. So then at this base, oh, uh, see that warping looks kind of gross though. Maybe We'll see how that looks. Um, so now I'm going to cut it again at this base drop or at this uh, kick. Bring it forward. So nice little jump. Then the other base or the other kick. Uh, split it again. Now bring it all the way forward. And that might be too far of a jump. Let's see. Boom. Boom. I don't see I, I don't want the I don't want the scope. I don't want the scope in there as much. So I think I'm gonna go right here, trim this one so that the scope doesn't come up, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna make it look like a, I'm gonna cheat a little, make it look like a black scope. Which I don't. I'm not that good, apparently. Not good enough to black scope, but I'll drag that out, drag that over, and drag that to there. So boom, boom. So that that should be lovely. Let's see. That sounds lovely. All right. So now we'll have it. That dying animation is kind of cool. So right when he's bending over backwards like that, we could do a blood splatter in there or something. And we would do that in our pre-comp and motion track and stuff in there if we needed to. So I'll split one more time. And I'm going to just go, let's see... Uh, Maybe 500. How slow is that? Sick. All right. So let's uh, let's bring this over here and give it a RAM preview. This may take a bit, but I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm not trying to like say that I'm better than Baker or anything, and I he is a huge inspiration for me as he should be for all editors he is so sick so original and I really love the stuff he does I really appreciate his tutorials and uh, I'm very envious of him so uh, I don't know I I hope maybe he could start editing by this method I would feel so heartfelt so so that's it let's go through it one more time first shot We have some. The warping is kind of gross right uh, when I'm turning around. Right there. But I really, I really like that. So that is how I uh, do stuff with Twixter. If this is a little messy for you, which I, I don't doubt it, like in the montage I'm working on right now, which is going to be sick, uh, featuring me, I have probably. 200 layers right now because I mean think about it 14 for one clip and I want like 40 clips so uh, if you wanted to you could go in here uh, 
and pre-compose this again so if you want to do effects on it or something uh, you could do that but uh, I think I think that's it for me guys I hope you enjoyed this and I hope uh, you edit better now so I will talk to you guys later bye